Hi everyone, so this is my literature review uh, presentation. So what I will do is that I will first start by reviewing my the entries that I've uh, introduced this semester and some reflections around them. Then I will look at the evolution between my past entries of last semester and these that I just made. And then I will look at how my entries map within the, the Peace Library and how uh, perhaps we can improve the library in the future. So for my entries, my first one is a book from Marc Auger called Non-Places, which is an anthropological book which reflects on the concept of non-places. This concept relies on the idea of place in the anthropological sense, which is a place in relation to its meaning, its symbols and its reality. So that's what a place is in anthropology. And from that definition, he thought about the concept of non-places, so places which are so modern and manifest a goal, manifest a desire rather than a social, cultural existence that they become actually non-places. Um, and so, for example, we have highly functional malls or airports or trains or train stations that fit into these categories of non-places. And he also relates it um, very shortly at some point in the book to peace and inner like individuality and how we as individuals disappear in these contexts. My second contribution was from Vindya Bhutpitiya who talked to us a couple of weeks ago and I really wanted to include something of her because she was so fascinating and so I included something uh, where she talks about the state of Sri Lanka as asking for non-violence whilst being violent which is a clear example of failed peace and really nuanced this piece, which I thought was really interesting. And then my third contribution was The Most Peaceful Place on Earth from Anandam Kavori, which is also an anthropological journey through a place, in a memorial in Cambodia after the Khmer Rouge um, attacks uh, and, and civil war with Vietnam. It's a very complicated um, conflict, but um, mainly he goes through how the memorial is, in his opinion, when he gets toward the end of the text, it's actually badly made, but he understands that it had to be made that way for the populations to reclaim their ownership over their past, their very difficult and conflictual past. So these are my three entries. And what I've noticed com in comparison to my previous ones is that in last semester, I had a lot of entries that were advocating for peace, um, really arguing that this is how peace should be done rather than nuancing piece, which is what I've done this time around. I've really put in entries that think differently about um, the context in which peace is made in, within the individual. And so that has led me into, um, instead of considering grand theories, which I've done much more last semester, into focusing into individual situations and how individuals feel in different circumstances around peace and around their more or less conflictual environments after uh, a war has ended, so within the storytelling of peace. And absolutely involuntarily, this has led me to look much more into social anthropology rather than international relations. That was not um, on purpose, it just happened that way. I have much more social anthropology um, literature this time around, which does say a lot about the reflective, the the, res the respecting um, disciplines, but also says a lot about um, the conceptions, the academic conceptions we have around peace, peace building. So, um, how did my do my entry fit within the peace library? First of all, they contribute a lot to grassroots perspectives uh, and social anthropology, as I just said because they focus on the individual and in their environment, but they also turn out to be mapping much more in storytelling and placemaking, um, giving agency back to the individual, agency back to what you can do within actually yourself and your close community without hoping for your approaches to become a grand peace theory, but simply staying at that grassroots level to help yourself and your community. And then what I try to do as well is diversify the authors. So I have someone from France, I have Sri Lanka and Cambodia, even though the Cambodian author studied in the US. But it's more diversified and mostly I've tried to move away from that 
bottom-up conception because if we're talking about grassroots, it doesn't mean that we have to be talking about bottom-up. We can just be talking about the individual and their individuality. So very briefly, some of the key takeaways from um, my literature contributions is that there's an inner individual that has capacities in peace building. And we can work towards that in the way we feel and the way we act every day. And so I thought mainly the VIP should keep on challenging um, are finding challenging voices and bring them into our peace library but also I would really love for a map to be uh, done about our library I thought that would bring a lot and I would also love to start disseminate um, the dissemination plan that I built last semester to have some great feedback or bad feedback on the library but that would be super helpful so yeah if you have any question please yeah ask me thank you so much <laughs>